Hello you two and welcome to your last uh, science lesson related to our materials topic for this half term. So today we have a very short lesson because we're going to, I'm just going to briefly talk through with you your quiz and your assessment challenge task that Miss Bryant would like you to do and submit on Purple Mash. So let's make a start. First of all, I want you just to kind of get you thinking and reminding yourself and refreshing your memory about all the things you've learned and investigated during your science this half term. I want you to think about 10 things that you've learned or investigated, which means to like, you know, you're like, just like a scientist, you're investigating your ideas and your hypothesis and proved or proved, which means you were correct or you weren't correct in this topic. Here are some clues that might help you. So we've got some plasticine here. We've got a, a lead that stretches. It's quite a, what type of material. We've got the experiment we did to do with waterproof and then different types of materials we've looked at this half term. So if you've got a pen, piece of paper, or you've got an adult in the room, think about 10 things that you have learned, investigated or proved in this topic that you can either tell your adult or write down. I'm gonna give you about a minute to do that. Okay, everybody, so hopefully you've been able to come up with a couple of things and well done if you managed to think of 10 things. And I'm sure that some of you may even come up with some more, more than 10 examples of things you've learnt, investigated or proved in this topic this half term. Now, your first task for this lesson today is to complete your um, multiple choice quiz. Now, this is an independent task. Now you can have an adult read the question to you if you need to, but they won't be able to help you answer any of the questions or tell you the correct answer. And obviously you can't have any of your books and I don't want to hit or see or hear that you've also been going on of trying to find out yourselves, okay? Try and do it from memory. See if you can remember all the fantastic learning that you have been doing. So, to show you where you can find this quiz, I'm gonna stop um, my sharing of my PowerPoint just here for you. And then I'm going to show you the Purple Mash task. Right, so when you go onto Purple Mash in its usual space, you will find your to-dos and that you need to complete and you will find the link that will take you to the science week six quiz and this says please complete the end of unit quiz and it's all about different types of material so when you click play you will see that you have 10 questions that we would like you to complete and to answer as there's no race there's no uh, competition about who can get it done the quickest you just have to take your time and think about your answers so if you stretch a spring a little bit, it gets longer. What happens if you let go? So you can look, you've got four choices for your answers there. So you would click on the one that you think it could be, if that's the one you think it is, and then you go on to the next question. As I said, you can have an adult that can read out the question to you if you would like, but we'd like you to try it by yourselves, but that's absolutely fine if you need to do that. That should take you round about no more than 10 minutes, okay? So if I take you, stop sharing this, and I'm gonna take you back to the PowerPoint. Right, so. This is your assessment challenge task, your ACT for this half term. So what we would like you to do is to complete the sheet with your answers. Now you will find this sheet on uh, Purple Mash as an additional task that we would like you to do. And remember this is independent. So what you need to do, there are 
a couple of sections we want you to complete um, based on some of the clues in the pictures or some of the questions. And there's a variety of different things that we want you to do. So we're going to work our way through it together now. OK, so the first section says, why is this object suitable for its job role? So you will see the arrow is pointing to this item on the bed. First of all, you need to think about what is this object that the arrow is pointing to? What material is it made from? And then it is good at its job because it is, what, what, why is it good at its job? Why is this material used, this object used, rather than something else? The second box over here with these items, this object just here, because I can't tell you what it is, because that's one of the challenges that we want you to identify what these are. It says, how can you fix the broken boot? So first of all, you need to think here, what is this object? What is this object that's got these nice stripy patterns on them? What are they? The material that you would use to fix this is, what material might you use for those that object? And then finally, what is special about this material? Because the material is what? Why does it make it good at its job? Then if we make our way down to the third box, which is just here, it's got this picture over here, to change the shape of a material, you could. So have a look at this material, what is it? What could you do to change its shape? And we'd like you to think about four different ways, if you can, to think about how you could do that. Now, if we go to the fourth box, which is just over here, this is a test to see, do you know what these words mean? So we would like you to put a your own definition of what you mean, we mean when we say the word flexible. So my turn, flexible, your turn. Good. And then what do we mean when we say the word rigid? My turn, rigid, your turn. And then finally, what do we mean when we say the word waterproof? My turn, waterproof, your turn. So we'd like to see if you can tell us what do those three words mean? What's your own an idea about what they mean? OK, you can write your own example there. Then in the fifth and final box, which is down in the bottom right hand corner, just here, you will read this question. Why is it important for a pair of socks to be stretchy? And we'd like you to think about why that, why is it important that socks are stretchy? What would happen if they weren't? Okay, so why is it important that socks are stretchy? And then answer this question. Why is it important for a chair to be rigid? OK, so you hopefully you would have thought what you'll know what that definition is and written your answer here. So that might help you with answering that last question. Why is it important for a chair to be rigid? And then when you've completed this uh, challenge assessment challenge task, your act for this half term, you can upload it back onto Purple Mash and we will give you some feedback on how you've done. And we can also share that with Miss Brian, who I'm sure will be very excited to find out all the things you can remember from your science learning this half term. As normal, if you have any questions or queries, maybe in the chat this afternoon, um, you can speak to Mr Butcher or I or Miss Larby to discuss any queries you might have, but we won't be able to help you with those answers. So good luck and we can't wait to see how you do in your quiz. Bye bye.